That gives me a lot of data to know what not to talk about. So all I had to do was look at your PowerPoints. Okay, they talked about this. All right, Monday, okay, done. Look at the second PowerPoint. Okay, they talk about this. Okay, I know, done. And then I realized I had to do some copy innovation. What did they talk about? What did they talk about that was great? I took the slides, hello. Since it is about observation, and one particular thing I don't do, I do not listen to music at all when I drive. Why? Because it's when I drive, as you may have noticed, I've mentioned a lot of things about driving. That is the moment where I think the most. Some people say it's the moment where they are taking a shower. That happens too. But it's mostly when I drive. I think about the world of why people don't do what they should do. It's certainly because they are following the 10 people and not the one single person who goes on the other side. <laughs> Thank you very much. In fact, every single time I go through that residential area, I slow down. I slow down. But please, as you're going into your teams, don't slow down. Just share about design thinking with them. In your own words, build that trust with the people. And let them know, hey, Agile, Lean, and Design Thinking, they are brothers and sisters because they all have one particular goal, continuous improvement. Any other question? There, thank you very much for bringing that one up. There are two parts to it. When I say copy, please, I don't mean copy someone that has patented. This is not patented to the best of my knowledge, is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Copy something that is not patented. That is first, number one thing. You can copy. And possibly even, even if it is patented, what do you do? Figure out how to copy the result. For example, Snapchat, I wish they are patent, there is no way to patent stories. But look at a particular situation where, let's say for example, Cisco and our networking machines, like all the different data centers and what we have developed. Why do we still have competitors with about 50,000 patents? We have more than 50,000 patents. But we still have competitors. I do believe it's because the people actually sit down, maybe they sit down, they look at the patents, they say, oh, there's a flaw in here. Opening, okay, let's get it. There's always a flaw somewhere. And number two thing is, there's a story that was shared in Y Combinator, they said, we were working on our project. So we had a website, there was a uh, guy talking, and he said, they had a website. They knew the competitor so well. The competitor was in South Africa. He had just received a grant of about $40 million. So the competitor was really happy. And they were having a website version one. Then they realized a day later, the competitor launched. And he had the same website like they did. But the crazy thing about copying is, I do not just say copy, I say copy, innovate. They were actually working on their version two, and they launched a week later, surpassing those guys in South Africa. So when you want to copy, don't just copy the state. Copy, look at the flaws, and then in, obey. That's what I would say. Question? Okay, so this is a final point. Learning, teaching, and mastering design thinking without applying it is as useless as my calculus one, two, and three classes I took back in college. How many of you have used calculus one, two, three? How many? Thank you very much. Oh, wow, please, when did you use that? Differential equations, integration? <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> please, you, you can name them. So please, do think about it and really consider it. All what you have learned today, if you do not use it, you will certainly lose it. You have three dimensions where you could explore how they apply. 
not hesitate to use them. My name is Mr. Agent Radio, and I'll be at the back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you. And <laughs> it's always an interesting.